Hello and welcome to another excellent episode of EVTV Ireland, the show that tells you all about electric vehicles in Ireland. My name is Guillaume. In this show, we will cover how to charge an EV at home and on the road to give you a general idea of what kind of charge speeds you can expect. Today, we will be demonstrating charging on the Tesla Model S in later episodes where we take a closer look at the EVs you can buy in Ireland, we will give you the same information for those cars and point out important differences. To charge at home, you can either plug your EV into an ordinary socket or you can buy a home charge point. Plugging your EV into an ordinary wall socket is the slowest way to charge. I will now demonstrate charging using this granny cable in an ordinary socket. So this is the charge screen of a Tesla Model S. As we mentioned in a previous episode, charge speed is measuring kilowatts. And here on the screen, you can see that we're charging at two kilowatts. So if we let the car charge for an hour, we'll have added two kilowatt hours to the battery. This is obviously too slow if you're in a hurry, but keep in mind that tripping sockets are available everywhere in the country. On this screen, uh, you can see that instead of kilowatt, uh, you can see the range gained by the car in kilometers per hour. So in this case, it's eight kilometers per hour. It gives you an idea of how much range you can gain. The next faster option is a home charge point, and there are two types, tethered and untethered. A tethered charge point has a cable attached, like this one, while an untethered charge point doesn't. This is a Tesla wall connector. Let's plug in and see how fast it tells us to charge. Home chargers are usually between 3.5 and 7 kilowatts. As you can see on this screen, this is 7 kilowatt, and this is much faster than using the granny cable. A public standard charger is faster still, so let's see if we can find one that's free. Here we are at the standard charger. Let's plug in and see what happens. To use this charger, we need an USB e-car card, like this one, which you can get for free by registering on the ESB eCar website, we will put the link in the description of the video. This card can also be used in Northern Ireland. So if you don't have a card, you can simply ring at this uh, number here below and uh, ESB will start and then stop the charge for you. We are here at a 22 kilowatt AC charge point. This particular car is charging at 11 kilowatt. Electric vehicles can charge from 3 to 22 kilowatt depending on the car. Back to this vehicle, um, this is a Tesla Model S with a 75 kilowatt hour battery. At 11 kilowatt, the car needs around 7 hours to go from 0 all the way to 100%. Here on the screen, you can see that it at, it's at 70% at the moment, and so it needs about 2 hours 30 to go all the way to 100%. So this charging speed is um, acceptable, but of course, if you go on a longer trip, you, you want to charge a bit faster. So let's try to see if we can find a fast charger. All right, so this is a fast charger. Um, we do have uh, three different connectors here. The Shademo here. That is for Nissan Leafs mostly. The Combo CCS, so that would be for most European cars. Those two are DC, and this one is AC. 
fast AC, 43 kilowatts. Those two are giving 50. In this case, because it's a Tesla uh, which has a, a specific connector, we have a Chademo adapter that we're going to use on this one uh, to be able to charge the car. So as you can see, uh, we are pulling 36 kilowatt from this fast charger. Um, those fast charger can give up to 50 kilowatt, depending on the car, of course, and depending on the battery temperature. So in winter, you would get a lower uh, power than in summer, typically. As you can see as well here, you have 187 kilometers per hour. So this is the range that is gained by the car, which is significantly more than what you've seen just before on the AC charger. So this is our last stop of the day. We are here in Bird Hill near Limerick, where you see there are eight stalls uh, for Tesla. So they are Tesla superchargers, only for Teslas. So let's have a look how it works. You take the cable and there is no need to, um, to swipe the card, just insert and it charges. So as you can see now, the charging speed is much faster than the one we've seen before in the ESB fast charger. This is 56 kilowatt, so it's, it's ramping down now unfortunately uh, because the battery is cold and uh, it's, it already has a high state of charge. Um, this very car could charge at over 100 kilowatt. Um, please note that at Tesla superchargers, some Teslas like the Model 3 long range can charge at up to 250 kilowatt. The charging pattern that you can see here with the, with the speed uh, going down is the same for all the EVs. So basically at the beginning of the charge, it will start to ramp up uh, because the voltage is quite low, but then it will kind of peak maybe around 20, 30 percent. And depending on the car, it will slow down more or less faster. Um, but yeah, so this is what you can see here is completely normal, and uh, it will it will keep going down in speed till the, the battery is almost full. Well, that's it for now. Uh, please leave your comments below and let us know what you think and please subscribe to our channel and give it a like. And if you click on the bell next to the subscribe button, you will be notified whenever a new episode is available. Thanks for watching.